guys! Hello everybody! Hello you! Welcome to my channel, Crazy's Art. I am Jam, and today we are going to answer the 10 crochet hooks questions because I am again tagged. But before anything else, guys, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, to comment, and like, and share it with your family and friends. And at the same time, there is like this little um, bell notification bell button down below if you can just click on that so that whenever I posted a new video, you will be the first one to see that I posted something. So guys, this time I was again tagged by Miss Rose from the Philippines and her YouTube channel is called Ganchillera. So this tag questions were actually um, coming from... I think from Kito Marnie and I'm also going to put her link down below so you can also check on her channel and now we are just going to answer the 10 crochet questions that I have to answer and let's see how it goes first question what is your favorite brand of crochet hook so I tried already a lot of different kinds of crochet hooks and I would say that my favorite brand is actually from Clover, this one. And also, um, I also tried the Furls one and this is the Furls. So they, these are the two favorite hooks that I already tried and I just really love them because they are both um, ergonomic and it is just very nice to hold and to work with um, yarn. So these are my favorite brands of crochet hooks. Second question, what is your favorite size crochet hook? So the favorite size of crochet hook is actually the 4mm crochet hook. It is because it is just small and with, let's say I make a shawl or a blanket or a like ambigurumis, I can also just use the 4mm crochet hook. And with yarns, it is very easy to find a lot of yarns that is just like I'm um, telling you to use a 4mm. I am um, loving the 4mm or I think in US it is called the letter G hook. Third question, do you prefer a tapered hook or do you prefer an inline hook? Due to my curiosity, I actually bought an inline hook and that is the Susan Bates. This is it. So if you can see it here, it looks like this. You can see how pointy it is and also how at the hook, the head, it is also very pointy. And this is like the inline hook that we have here. And with the tapered one, we have this one. So if you can really compare them from each other, and this is actually the same kind of hook or the same size of hook, 4 millimeter. If you can see it here, they are really different from each other. Um, for me, I kind of prefer the tapered one because this is my first hook that I used before and I am just so used to using this but um, with the Susan Bates I think I still have to get used to it to say that I really like working with it but then of course I think with the Furls Crochet hook I think this is also like what you call the um, I think this is like a board because it, the, it's not very pointy or I think the tapered one I mean it's not very pointy so for me I prefer using the tapered one <laughs> number four how do you grip your hook pencil grip or knife grip so now we're going to talk about my grip um, my grip is actually called the knife grip it just looks like this i am very used to using the knife grip because this is just feels very comfortable for me when i am crocheting and it doesn't really matter if i use this kind of hook the metal ones or the bigger ones the ergonomic ones but i still prefer the knife grip hook 
I tried um, doing the pencil grip like this. It doesn't really feel very comfortable with my hand when I am working. So whenever I am trying to do that, somehow the yarn just goes through and you know, it just makes a little mess with my work. So I prefer the knife grip. Number five, does the style of hope dictate how you crochet? So for this question, I'm going to say that the uh, crochet hook is sometimes actually really um, dictates how I crochet because like some crochet hooks, when you are working with it, the, the chains are sometimes like bigger than the other one. But then you also have like this crochet hooks where it just really like give you a, um, you know, the same size of um, with your work. So it doesn't really like, um, you will not end up with your work like very loose or very tight because of the crochet hook so it is actually funny but if you will actually just see how it works with crochet hooks they all look the same or um, they look a bit different from each other but they also work a, di a bit different from each other so I think that will be my answer number six do you prefer ergonomic hooks or regular hooks? For this question, I would say that I prefer the ergonomic ones because I am crocheting like hours and hours and hours um, for a day. And of course, at one time or at one point, you are already having or you know, like your hands are already sore from crocheting. And the only way that I can crochet for hours is just to use an ergonomic hook. So like what I said before, um, with like the frills, this is like an ergonomic hook and I just really like it because it just very, fits very well on my hand. And also this one, it is just a very thin one. but. It just feels very comfortable also with my hands so I would say I would prefer um, using the ergonomic hooks and of course the regular hooks they're actually also okay but sometimes of course they give you a little bit of sore with your hand when you are working with a project most especially for me because whenever I hold my project or whenever I'm holding the hook um, I can feel this part and it just really like gives a bit a bit of a friction on my finger and it just really feels so tiring so I prefer using this kind of hooks other rather than this number seven what are your thoughts on lighted hooks I haven't tried the lighted hooks yet because I didn't even have the urge to buy it it is because number one I don't crochet at, in the dark and number two I think it will just like strain my eyes whenever I will just look at the hook and it's very light I think it will just strain my eyes and it will just make my my eyes very tired when I am just crocheting so I think I wouldn't even like to buy a lighted hook at all Number 8. Have you ever used a hook with interchangeable heads? If so, what are your thoughts? Um, I also don't have this interchangeable heads for crochet hooks and I think I'm also not gonna get it because I just prefer to be like a very easy one just to bring the hook that I like or just to use it and I don't really have the urge again to change it and you know <laughs> from time to time um, with the head and I'm not really sure what I can say about this but um, I think the normal hooks are just okay for me number nine do you like projects that require small stainless steel hook or larger hooks with this question, I think I prefer using the one with the stainless steel because um, first, stainless steel is always like very, um, you know, when you are gliding through or sliding through the yarn, it's just very easy to use. 
but then also it depends of course also because like this one this is also a big hook and I also don't have any problems with it so and this is not even a stainless this is just like a plastic one so I think but I would think I will just prefer a stainless steel ones than the other than the larger hooks number 10 if you were only allowed to use two hooks for the rest of your life, what size and brand would they be? If I am allowed to use only two hooks and two brands, I think I would say that I would preferably um, use the 4mm crochet hook and also the 3mm crochet hook because the 3 and 4 millimeter crochet hook I am using them most of the time for the amigurumi projects and also for like shawls and scarves that I am making and for a brand I think because I've been using um, clover brand and frills right now so I think I will just prefer to use those two hooks for the rest of my life so guys, those were the 10 crochet hook questions that we just answered. I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I do. I would say that these questions were kind of difficult to answer because now I just realized that there are really like a lot of crochet hooks out there that I am using and at the same time um, like you know how they feel on my hand when I am working with a project. And guys, thank you again for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like what I said before. I just want to say also thank you to you guys who already subscribed to my channel and watching my videos. Thank you very much. Um, maraming salamat po. <laughs> don't kill it well. And again guys, I'll see you next time and bye-bye.